Rosetta was a space probe built by the European Space Agency launched on 2 March 2004. Along with Philae, its lander module, Rosetta performed a detailed study of Comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko. During its journey to the comet, the spacecraft performed flybys of Earth, Mars, and the asteroids 21 Lutetia and 2867 Steins. It was launched as the third cornerstone mission of the ESA's Horizon 2000 program, after SOHO, Cluster and XMM Newton. On 6 August 2014, the spacecraft reached the comet and performed a series of maneuvers to eventually orbit the comet at distances of 30 to 10 kilometers. On 12 November, its lander module Philae performed the first successful landing on a comet, though its battery power ran out two days later. Communications with Philae were briefly restored in June and July 2015, but due to diminishing solar power, Rosetta's communications module with the lander was turned off on 27 July 2016. On 30 September 2016, the Rosetta spacecraft ended its mission by hard landing on the comet in its Ma'ar region. The probe was named after the Rosetta Stone, a steel of Egyptian origin featuring a decree in three scripts. The lander was named after the Philae obelisk, which bears a bilingual Greek and Egyptian hieroglyphic inscription. Rosetta was launched on 2 March 2004 from the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, on an Ariane 5 rocket and reached comet churyumov gerasimenko on 7 May 2014. It performed a series of maneuvers to enter orbit between then and 6 August 2014, when it became the first spacecraft to orbit a comet. It was one of ESA's Horizon 2000 cornerstone missions. The spacecraft consisted of the Rosetta orbiter, which featured 12 instruments, and the Philae lander, with nine additional instruments. The Rosetta mission orbited comet churyumov gerasimenko for 17 months and was designed to complete the most detailed study of a comet ever attempted. The spacecraft was controlled from the European Space Operations Center, in Darmstadt, Germany. The planning for the operation of the scientific payload, together with the data retrieval, calibration, archiving and distribution, was performed from the European Space Astronomy Center, in Villanueva de la Cañada, near Madrid, Spain. It has been estimated that in the decade preceding 2014, some 2,000 people assisted in the mission in some capacity. In 2007, Rosetta made a Mars gravity assist on its way to comet churyumov gerasimenko The craft completed its flyby of asteroid 2867 Steins in September 2008 and of 21 Lutetia in July 2010. Later, on 20 January 2014, Rosetta was taken out of a 31-month hibernation mode as it approached comet churyumov gerasimenko Rosetta's Philae lander successfully made the first soft landing on a comet nucleus when it touched down on comet churyumov gerasimenko on 12 November 2014. On 5 September 2016, ESA announced that the lander was discovered by the narrow-angle camera aboard Rosetta as the orbiter made a low, 2.7 km pass over the comet. The lander sits on its side wedged into a dark crevice of the comet, explaining the lack of electrical power to establish proper communication with the orbiter. During the 1986 approach of Halley's Comet, international space probes were sent to explore the comet, most prominent among them being ESA's Giotto. After the probes returned valuable scientific information, it became obvious that follow-ons were needed that would shed more light on cometary composition and answer new questions. Both ESA and NASA started cooperatively developing new probes. The NASA project was the Comet Rendezvous Asteroid Flyby Mission. The ESA project was the follow-on Comet Nucleus Sample Return Mission. Both missions were to share the Mariner Mark II spacecraft design, thus minimizing costs. In 1992, after NASA cancelled CRAF due to budgetary limitations, ESA decided to develop a CRAF-style project on its own. By 1993 it was evident that the ambitious sample return mission was infeasible with the existing ESA budget, so the mission was redesigned and subsequently approved by the ESA, with the final flight plan resembling the cancelled CRAF mission, an asteroid flyby followed by a comet rendezvous with in situ examination, including a lander. After the spacecraft launch, Gerhard Schwem was named mission manager, he retired in March 2014. The Rosetta mission included generational team management, this allowed mission continuity over the long period of the mission and for special knowledge to be maintained and passed on to future team members. In particular, several younger scientists were brought on as principal science investigators, and regular training sessions were conducted. The probe was named after the Rosetta Stone, a steel of Egyptian origin featuring a decree in three scripts. The comparison of its hieroglyphs with those on the Rosetta Stone catalyzed the deciphering of the Egyptian writing system. 
it was hoped that these spacecraft would result in better understanding of comets and the early solar system. In a more direct analogy to its namesake, the Rosetta spacecraft also carried a micro-etched pure nickel prototype of the Rosetta disk donated by the Long Now Foundation. On its way to Comet 67P, Rosetta passed through the main asteroid belt, and made the first European close encounter with several of these primitive objects. Rosetta was the first spacecraft to fly close to Jupiter's orbit using solar cells as its main power source. Rosetta was the first spacecraft to orbit a comet nucleus, and was the first spacecraft to fly alongside a comet as it headed towards the inner solar system. It became the first spacecraft to examine at close proximity the activity of a frozen comet as it is warmed by the Sun. Shortly after its arrival at 67P, the Rosetta orbiter dispatched the Philae lander for the first controlled touchdown on a comet nucleus. The robotic lander's instruments obtained the first images from a comet's surface and made the first in situ analysis of its composition. The Rosetta bus was a 2.8-2.1-2.0 meters central frame and aluminium honeycomb platform. Its total mass was approximately 3,000 kilograms, which included the 100 kilograms Philae lander and 165 kilograms of science instruments. The payload support module was mounted on top of the spacecraft and housed the scientific instruments, while the bus support module was on the bottom and contained spacecraft support subsystems. Heaters placed around the spacecraft kept its systems warm while it was distant from the sun. Rosetta's communication suite included a 2.2 meters steerable high-gain parabolic dish antenna, a 0.8 meters fixed position medium gain antenna, and two omnidirectional low gain antennas. Electrical power for the spacecraft came from two solar arrays totaling 64 square meters. Each solar array was subdivided into five solar panels, with each panel being 2.252.736 meters. The individual solar cells were made of silicon, 200 micrometers thick, and 61.9537.75 millimeters. The solar arrays generated a maximum of approximately 1,500 watts at perihelion, a minimum of 400 watts in hibernation mode at 5.2 astronomical units, and 850 watts when comet operations begin at 3.4 astronomical units. Spacecraft power was controlled by a redundant Terma power module also used in the Mars Express spacecraft, and was stored in 410AH, Li-ion, batteries supplying 28 volts to the bus. The spacecraft carried 1,719.1 kg of propellant at launch, 659.6 kg of monomethylhydrazine fuel and 1,059.5 kg of dinitrogen tetroxide oxidizer, contained in two 1,108-liter grade 5 titanium alloy tanks and providing delta V of at least 2,300 meters per second over the course of the mission. Rosetta was built in a clean room according to COSPAR rules, but sterilization was generally not crucial since comets are usually regarded as objects where you can find prebiotic molecules, that is, molecules that are precursors of life, but not living microorganisms, according to Gerhard Schwem, Rosetta's project scientist. Rosetta was set to be launched on 12 January 2003 to rendezvous with the comet 46P, or Tannen in 2011. In May 2003, a new plan was formed to target the comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko, with a revised launch date of 26 February 2004 and comet rendezvous in 2014. The larger mass and the resulting increased impact velocity made modification of the landing gear necessary. After two scrubbed launch attempts, Rosetta was launched on 2 March 2004 at 7.17 Time from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana, using Ariane 5G carrier rocket. Aside from the changes made to launch time and target, the mission profile remained almost identical. Both co-discoverers of the comet, Klim Churyumov and Svetlana Gerasimenko, were present at the spaceport during the launch. To achieve the required velocity to rendezvous with 67P, Rosetta used gravity assist maneuvers to accelerate throughout the inner solar system. The comet's orbit was known before Rosetta's launch, from ground-based measurements, to an accuracy of approximately 100 kilometers. Information gathered by the onboard cameras beginning at a distance of 24 million kilometers were processed at ESA's operation center to refine the position of the comet in its orbit to a few kilometers. On 25 February 2007, the craft was scheduled for a low-altitude flyby of Mars, to correct the trajectory. During that encounter, the solar panels could not be used since the craft was in the planet's shadow, where it would not receive any solar light for 15 minutes, causing a dangerous shortage of power. The flyby was successful, with Rosetta even returning detailed images of the surface and atmosphere of the planet, and the mission continued as planned. 
The second Earth flyby was on 13 November 2007 at a distance of 5,700 km. In observations made on 7 and 8 November, Rosetta was briefly mistaken for a near-Earth asteroid about 20 meters in diameter by an astronomer of the Catalina Sky Survey and was given the provisional designation 2007 VN84. Calculations showed that it would pass very close to Earth, which led to speculation that it could impact Earth. Astronomer Denis Denisenko recognized that the trajectory matched that of Rosetta, which the Minor Planet Center confirmed in an editorial release on 9 November. The spacecraft performed a close flyby of asteroid 2867 Steins on 5 September 2008. Maximum relative speed between the two objects during the flyby was 8.6 km per second. Rosetta's third and final flyby of Earth happened on 12 November 2009 at a distance of 2,481 km. On 10 July 2010, Rosetta flew by 21 Lutetia, a large main belt asteroid, at a minimum distance of 3,168 plus or minus 7. The flyby provided images of up to 60 meters per pixel resolution and covered about 50% of the surface, mostly in the northern hemisphere. After leaving its hibernation mode in January 2014 and getting closer to the comet, Rosetta began a series of eight burns in May 2014. These reduced the relative velocity between the spacecraft and 67P from 775 meters per second to 7.9 meters per second. In 2006, Rosetta suffered a leak in its reaction control system. The system, which consists of 24 bipropellant 10 newton thrusters, was responsible for fine-tuning the trajectory of Rosetta throughout its journey. The RCS operated at a lower pressure than designed due to the leak. Prior to Rosetta's deep space hibernation period, two of the spacecraft's four reaction wheels began exhibiting increased levels of bearing friction noise. Increased friction levels in reaction wheel assembly B were noted after its September 2008 encounter with asteroid Steins. Two attempts were made to relubricate the RWA using an onboard oil reservoir, but in each case noise levels were only temporarily lowered, and the RWA was turned off in mid-2010 after the flyby of asteroid Lutetia to avoid possible failure.